This is a steel connector. This is not a donut. Donuts are for fat kids. What's happening, guys? Sean King, Mr. Fitz Academy, Mr. Fitz Tools. We are in Evansville, Indiana. That's my home turf. And we're conducting a uh, training today uh, using the Uni 5. So it's I Drive Power System Training, Superior Foundation, increasing the strength and longevity of your fence. Boom! And we're doing that with this new product. This is a steel connector. This is the bridge the gap between this really, really strong PT40 post here that we have and the very strong fence that we have that we're putting together here, right? So. We've got uh, two by seven rails. We've got top rail ties on the top of the post, locking pickets, great system. But we have to make sure the post is connected to this really strong superior driven post here. So the Uni 5 is similar to a joist hanger material. It's metal, galvanized steel, stamped, and is designed, engineered for strength. We have 100% connection on all four sides. 360 degrees around the inside of this post, it's a full connection to that uni five all right the only nice thing is is also a press connection so or press fit so these flanges push against the sidewall evenly that gets rid of any wobble wibble wobble you might have with those old donuts right like the uh, sparkly donuts you used to wobble around in there that gets rid of all that stuff the other thing about the uni five is that it's, it's universal so the uni five will fit a 135 wall post a 155 wall post a p5 wall post and you can use it for your gate post. You can use it for a heavier wall post. Same uni. We're connecting it with uh, pins. These are concrete anchor pins. They have a huge uh, shear strength advantage over a screw. Okay? So they're much stronger in the shear strength, and that's what we're worried about. We're worried about shear strength this way. There's really no load pulling out of it this way. The uni 5 is adjustable an inch and a quarter if you are off a little bit with your line. If you, do, if you drive posts all the time, you probably won't be need all eight supporter, but it's there as you need it. We string a line and we adjust them all real quickly and get them all lined up. The Uni 5 being square is important. That's in line with the fence, so use a string line. And then the bottom one needs to be in line with the top one. So use a chunk of a vinyl post, use the tool that we have for it. Either way, make sure they're in, in line with each other. We like to see this about four feet above grade for a six foot tall fence, or at least half of the height of the fence should be above grade. The other advantage of this is it's metal so we can find it if we want to rivet to it or screw to it after installation. So if you're a guy who likes to go through the U channel, you don't have to go top measure anymore. You just throw a magnet on the side of the post. And by the way, a magnet comes in every single box and it's blue. And it'll tell you exactly where that rivet is. Down the ground, the connection to the ground, if you were using our system before, you know that we recommend you put a three inch screw through the post and into the steel post. And at the end of the day, that's one of the most tiring, frustrating, stressful pieces is getting that screw in. It's very important you put that screw in, but getting it in is stressful. What we've done with these is you don't have to do that screw no more. Now you just simply drill a hole through the vinyl post and into the uni and put a rivet. And that quarter inch rivet we're using has a higher shear strength than the screw. We did see some of those screws snapping off and it's a leverage thing. That screw is an inch and a quarter away from the steel post and it can move up and down and break if you have frost heave and settling from a heavy fence. Whereas now we're connecting right to the Uni 5 of the ground, right there, and there's no there's no gap, so there's no leverage there for shear, and it's a stronger shear strength to move it over a screw. Anyways, and that screw was costing 85 cents to a dollar each. A rivet is 12 cents, so you're welcome. We're saving you money all over the place. The Uni 5s cost about the same as the old donuts did, so you have a superior connector, you have advantages on installation, you have uh, no, no need for the dollar screw at the bottom anymore, so you're saving labor, you're saving money. The other thing is they come in, they nest together, so a box of 100 is about this big, and a box of the donuts, depending on what flavor you got, could be this big. Massive. That's hard to, to travel and, and load in trucks, find storage room. If you have, you know, a pallet of a 2,000 donuts is massive, right? A pallet of 4,800 donuts on this is half the size. So we've nested them together. We've made a stronger connector. We've decreased space. We're saving you money and we're making you different than everybody else. We're taking everything we've learned about the connectors and put them in one package. I don't even know where we go from here. Super connectors maybe next. I don't know, like titanium.